Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to update or edit an existing contact of our phone from our Android app. We'll be doing it in Android Studio and we'll use something called as Content Provider Operation. So let's begin. We'll create a new project, probably an empty activity would be a good one. And name of the application could be update uh, or edit contacts. Yeah, let's show things I leave as it is. Click finish. Wait for my environment to load. Once the environment loads up, first I will start the app in an emulator so that you can see it. Uh, it takes a while sometimes to start the emulator. In parallel, I'll also do the coding. And first and foremost thing, what I'll do is I'll make sure that I have all the privileges. So the privilege which we need for this app is to write in the context. So that's what I'm defining the manifest file. And also, I will make sure that I take the necessary permission from the user using the activity compact and uh, request permission for the context this new string manifest dot permission dot write context and what else and then the package manager permission granted yeah so this line will be responsible for to grant the permission now i'll go to the layout and in the layout what we'll do is we will uh, create two edit box probably i don't think i'll need this text view and i'll need to edit text which is basically one is plain text where we can enter the name of the context the display name of the context which we want to modify so we'll give the constraints to it we can probably reduce the ID. Yes, click on refactor and name also. I think we can delete and in the hint somewhere below, we can give enter display name. Yeah. And so on the right hand side, our emulator has come up good, but we will be requiring it uh, later once our at least the basic app is done and the second edit uh, text will be of numbers and over here the hint will be uh, enter new number the number which has to be modified or uh, yeah and over here again I'll give some constraints I'm not sure why it didn't work the ID will I will leave it as it is and that's all I will give a button of course to update so what when the user has entered he can press this button to update the contact so I'll just name this button as update contact perfect I will just make it a little bigger so that it can accommodate my things yeah and I'll bring it to the center Okay, perfect. So once we have it, now what we can do over here, we can go back to our Java code and first I'll create a, a public method, public white button update contact. This is a part where main most of our major part of our code will come, the demo which I want to show. I'll go back to the layout and quickly associate this method to this button using the on click attribute which is somewhere down below perfect i think i can save everything towards a bit further up so it looks good and also in the java code i'll create two class variables one will be java edit text and edit text name and the other will be edit text num and i'll associate with the Light widget using find you by id r dot id dot i think this was edit text yeah only edit text and the other one which is the number find you by id r dot id dot edit text number so once we have our uh, variables so these variables will be responsible uh, or we'll get the data from these variables now in the main button on click uh, method 
we will start our actual code. So first and foremost, I'll create an array list. Array list of type uh, content provider, content provider operation, and this name I can give is content provider operations array list or whatever, and this will be equal to, of course, new array list. I think I can make it somewhere like this, and in this. Uh, Type I can just give content provider operation perfect. So once we have this array list, then we can use this array list content provider operations to add uh, the operations and over here add and then content provider operations. So here you can see we get the various options new insert, assert, call. So this new insert is to insert a new contact which I have used in my other video, the link for which is in the information uh, button above. But I will use the new update here, and in this update, what I will do is I'll just make sure it goes in the new line, everything so that it looks clear. Yeah, and in this new update, first and foremost thing, what we have to do is we have to give the UD. So we'll do is contacts contract dot data dot contain UD. And then we have to give the argument. So one argument will be with selection. So here we have to give the where clause. The first string will is of the where clause. So here the clause what we can give is context contact dot data dot probably the display name. Yeah, because we will be checking the display name and what else. So apart from this, wait, I will also add one more thing equal to because we'll be forming a string uh, uh, in the second argument we'll see how why we are i'm giving the question mark because it has to take it up one by one i'll show you shortly anyway and the second argument will be the mime type so what we can do is we can again type dot data dot mime type yeah perfect and again we'll give equal to yeah, equal to question mark so why we are giving this uh, you will see no in the second part where the arguments we have to give is a strings array so we will give a we will form a strings array new string array and here we will give one by one for both so that's why this question mark will correlate to the correct uh, respective uh, values in this string array so first one will be of course the display name which we will get from this edit text edit text name dot get text dot to string so this will be the uh, first argument that what we have to modify the name the display name and the second one will be the mime tag which can be constant so that you can make is again context contract dot common data kinds dot phone dot Content item type. So, yeah. So that's all, and then we have to set the new value. So with value, and here we can give the new value what we kind want to put. So say for example, we are plan planning to modify our phone number. So we'll do common contracts dot common data kinds dot phone dot number. Perfect. And what will be the value? Value will get again from this edit text. No, not from name, sorry. It will be from number dot get text dot to string. Please note your number has also to be passed as a string format. Apart from this, we can also what we can do is I'm just showing one more uh, use case of this. We can also change the type of the phone. So say for example, here uh, let me complete phone dot for example type phone type and we can change uh, say for example initially it was work type then we can change it to uh, something called mobile type so context contract common data kinds dot phone dot and here's yeah that's what i was saying whether it's a uh, type is work mobile or even a uh, type of home uh, i think there, there will be various options so let me type uh, let me type type underscore and these are the options which you get work mobile assistant or home or fax and blah blah 
So I'll just change it from I think initially I assume it was work. So I'll change it to mobile and let's see how it comes up. So that's all I guess and build as we have to do anyway. And then we have to just call this in the content resolver. So get content resolver dot apply patch. And the first is the uh, string of the authority. So authority is contact contracts dot authority. And the second one is the uh, content provider, uh, yeah, which we have just now created above. That's all I guess. Yeah, so here it's asking me to I think to put a try catch if I'm not wrong. Yeah, surround with try catch, no problem. And that's all. I'll run this and let's see how it comes up. Um, I'm expecting to ask that permission initially, that right context permission. Yeah, so allow my app to access your context. Please allow. Yeah, so this is the layout which we created. Before I get into the layout uh, or uh, the actual functionality, let's check which are the contexts which I already have in my contact books. So I have two contexts. One is the programmer world where the number is something like 542147, blah, blah. Uh, to be honest, I will not remember this uh, number. But let me do one thing. Let me go back to my app. And in the display name, I'll write that programmer world and in the number I'll give something easy one two three four five six seven eight nine probably it will be easier for me to remember update context and let's see if it did or not it didn't happen okay so my app has crashed and the number has not changed I'm not sure about the issue uh, but if I closely look at my statement, because it's a very small code, the only part where it can give any error is this part where we are building the cover content provider operation. So the critical part is the selection and the value when we are setting up the value. So in selection, everything looks good. I think apart from this, there should have been a space here because it will get converted into a kind of query, the SQL query and it will get changed into a kind of where clause so there should be a where uh, and here so let me see if it works now so i'm rerunning the code now i think this space was the problem and i entered the, again the name as programmer world and the new number could be one two three four five six seven eight nine the, as what i oh, probably i can enter something different one 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 two 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 yeah to make it something different okay this time app didn't crash and if I go back quickly to see what is the number, okay, I think I may have to open it again. Yeah, see, the number has changed. What we could have also done is we could have given some kind of toast message here that the entry has been successful. So we'll enter a toast, make text, and um, sorry about that. And the context will be, of course, present. And then the character sequence could be, I can keep a very simple uh, uh, character sequence, which is like success, update successful. Contact, contact updated successfully. And then the last one will be the duration, which will be most likely toast dot. I will go for long and then the show. So this will also display uh, whether it's uh, uh, successful or uh, uh, yeah uh, or not. Because if this line is uh, done, line number 54, then I think it's successful and we can safely assume and we can print this for the user. So we have done with programmable. Next we'll do is with uh, programmable channel. So here also some random number is there, 741 blah blah. I'll change it to some other number. So I'll rerun the code and see how it comes up. So I'll programmer world channel a spelling should be correct because this will match with the display name over there as a very uh, display name okay here uh, probably i'll give some other number 98 okay i'll give 9988776 it's a bit easier to remember and when, once i click update contact i'm expecting if everything is fine this message should be displayed here as a toast somewhere over here Contact updated successfully. This was my expectations. So line number 55 is working. And now let me go back to my phone book and see whether the context is really updated or not. Perfect. So I can see the number is updated. 
So that's all. It's so simple. Uh, similarly, we can update other details also, like apart from the phone number, we can also display email ID or other things which if we are storing that. But the things is very simple. It's uh, we have to just use the uh, content uh, provider operation, and we have to uh, carefully use the with selection clause to update the display name or update the context which we want to update. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.